vending machines, parking meters, bubblegum dispensaries. In the developed world, coins are used to make small purchases. But in the age of digital transactions and inflation, are coins becoming obsolete and in due time extinct? Coins have some obvious disadvantages. They're heavy, which makes carrying a large number of them a nuisance. On top of that, to buy any moderately priced good, you'd need bags upon bags of them. Not to mention that the US penny and nickel cost more to make than their face value. Such a waste of taxpayer money. And if you drop them, oh dear, you're in trouble. Drop coins and they will roll, spin and slide under tables, sofas and chairs, into nooks and crannies only to meet the inevitable fate of being sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. Most of the time, coins are used by children buying junk food, and by those guys you hear about who pay parking tickets with pennies. You may think that coins are often used to purchase many other goods and services, such as pay parking. But in reality, credit and debit cards with tap features, pay by phone, and other technologies are removing the inconvenience of having to keep spare change around. Are coins becoming obsolete? In everyday purchases, yeah, for the most part. Are coins becoming extinct? Not at all. Coins are more expensive to produce than paper money. So why did Canada replace its $1 and $2 bills with coins? Because although a single coin is more expensive to make than a paper bill of the same face value, the coin will last on average 20 times longer than the bill. Paper money can be easily destroyed. It can be ripped, burned, cut, soaked, to a point where it's no longer usable. Even with simple everyday transactions, bills need to be replaced roughly every year. Coins, however, are much more durable and can last upwards of 20 years. When looking at the lifespans of coins and bills, coins are much cheaper for our governments to produce. The Canadian government saved roughly $250 million in 20 years. If only the Americans had the same logic on pennies and nickels. Another reason coins are not going away is that there are lobbying groups for the companies who make the discs that will be turned into coins, such as Americans for Common Sense, who are backed by Jardin Zinc products, who make the discs for the penny, and influence lawmakers to keep the penny around. Getting rid of coins that lose money is not a political issue, just a logical one. By getting rid of those coins, no votes are swayed, no ground gained on political issues. It's just simply a common sense issue. And if you know the speed that government works at, you know that doing something that will save the US government and other governments millions of dollars per year just won't happen. If we can't get rid of coins that lose money, there's no way we're getting rid of the other coins. There are ideas that coins and paper money will be replaced entirely by an electronic system. There are many questions about how this system would work, and the dangers surrounding it, even though it is an interesting thought to ponder. Did you know that the Netherlands is not a sovereign nation and not a member of the United Nations? Click here to watch the video called, The Netherlands is not a country. Thank you for watching.